Yay! She's a survivor! Oh my god! If you didn't have a giant Norman bag, you was a nobody. <laughs> Hi guys, what's up? My name's Luke, also known as Fisher Luke here on YouTube. So, with September just around the corner, that can mean only one thing. Back to school. Ugh. I used to hate them three words so much as a child, and even now, as an adult, they still make me feel slightly sick. Not gonna lie. So I thought it would be funny to put a spin on it and not do like a DIY or a haul or anything like that because let's be honest, I'm 31 years old, I am not going to school, so it'd be a bit of a lie if I was to do them things. I thought I'd redo a video that I did, I think two years ago now, I did a back to school quiz from BuzzFeed and you guys seem to like it so I thought, you know what, let's see if there's a new quiz, we can do it this year and just have a bit of fun about going back to school because <sighs> It can be a pretty depressing time. So without further ado, let's get into this week's video. So we got the quiz up, we got the camera and the light set up. So apparently only British people can get 100% on this school quiz. So fingers crossed, I get 100% because if I don't, that'll be pretty embarrassing. Okay, so we're ready, let's do question number one. Who was permitted to sit on these in assembly? Okay, that was definitely like a school bench. And you would sit in an assembly at the back of the hall and like they'd have benches so only year six could sit there, which was like the top year. Correct. Only year six were allowed to sit on these and lord over everyone else. It's so funny. What is the correct reaction to being given responsibility for this? So this is an overhead projector for those of you who are probably too young to know what they were. This is before like iPads and all that stuff. Fancy stuff. We had this old school projector, so um, yeah, how would you react if you were given, uh, I think, extreme excitement because they were a pretty cool thing, correct? Yes. Which of these is the right way to waste time in IT lesson? PowerPoint, drawing these on paint or making spreadsheets. I definitely used to draw these on paint all the time and then like just randomly colour them in like that and you think, oh my god, I could sell these. These are like pieces of art. So I'm definitely going with that. Okay, what is this device called? I'm gonna say it's called a whiteboard, but I don't think it's called a whiteboard. These, they didn't have these at school when I was there. I think these got introduced after I'd left. So I'm gonna say an interactive whiteboard. Yes. And back when I first started school, we had blackboard with chalk, old school. Okay, which of these is the most suitable primary school disco shoe for boys? <laughs> I wouldn't wear Either of these, even at school, I would have just said no to either of them. I would have probably gone with, you wouldn't wear football boots. Like, totally not is what? I'm going to say school shoes. You definitely wear your school shoes. What? Your football boots? That is wrong. No. Even if you wore them as a child, that's still wrong. Okay, what is this incredible dessert called? Banoffee pie, custard tart, white chocolate pie, or caramel butterscotch tart? Uh, I'm going to say... Banoffee pie, because I've never had caramel butterscotch tart. Uh, oh, oh my god, I got that so wrong. Caramel, who has caramel butterscotch tart? I never had that at school. That was too fancy for school. Next question. What was this helpful gang who taught you to read called? Biff and Chip, I don't even need to look at the answers. Topsy and Tim, Biff, Chip and Kipper, Jane and Peter, Rosie and Jim. Biff, Chip and Kipper. I was actually too old for Biff, Chip and Kipper. I think my sister used to have these at school, but I definitely didn't grow up with these. I grew up with Topsy and Tim. If any of you know what Topsy and Tim are, please let me know, comment in the box down below, because I would love to hear from you. Topsy and Tim and Rosie and Jim were literally <gasps> my childhood. I'm gonna go with, yeah, Biff. I know that's great. What did seeing these things out in the school hall mean? Uh, P lesson? Yes, it'd be the P lesson. So this used to be a horse. P horse? I can't remember. I think it's P horse. I'm going to say best P lesson. I'd probably say the worst because I hated P at school, but I'm just going to say the best. The best. Next question, complete the sentence. Divorce beheaded died. Divorce beheaded survived. Right, let me... <laughs> survived. Yay! For those of you who know, you know, that was like the rhyme we used to say for King Henry VIII and his many wives. She's a survivor! Oh my god! 
<laughs> what part of the dragon did the children travel through? Okay, this program was called Through the Dragon's Eye. It looks so creepy now, but I remember back at school, I used to love this program. Oh my god, Through the Dragon's Eye. Yep, correct. Look closely through the dragon's eye and fly. Next question, what were these most commonly used for paper towels? So, treating any injury you could ever experience something else. I'd probably say that because if you like grazed your leg or bumped your head or you felt sick, like you were always given wet paper towels to like put on wherever you hurt, like your arm, your head, your stomach, like your knee. So they kind of like were just like magic papers. I'm gonna say yeah. Correct. Okay, next question. What would you find in this book? Anthology was full of poems. So those of you who did GCSEs, yeah, poems, poetry, okay. Poetry, book extract, non-fictional writing, grammar, advice. Yes, definitely poetry. And I remember you used to have your anthology and you could write notes in there. It was like the first textbook at school that you could actually like write in and like somewhat graffiti, like, okay, not graffiti, but put notes in. I used to think that was so naughty, like, oh my God, I'm writing a book. Okay, next question. Which brand of textbook is known for this kind of low grade banter? I help I'm trapped in a barcode factory. I don't remember this at all, although I think it's like an exam paper. I'm gonna say AQA, because I just remember them being like part of the exam system. No, CGP? Never heard of it. Okay, next question. What would the naughties British schoolgirls commonly keep in here? Definitely their pee kits. Jane Norman was such a big brand here in the UK and all girls used to have these bags and just like carry all their pee kit around. If you didn't have a Jane Norman bag, you was a nobody. Pee kit, yes. Okay, if you saw this in a textbook, what would you expect to find on page 67? So, <laughs> Oh my god. So these, I think everybody, I mean, let me know if they did them at your school, but you used to kind of like go for your textbook and it'd be like, turn to page six, seven, you go to six, seven, and then it might say something else. Like, yeah, that's one of the questions. Turn, answers, turn to page 39. So the answers are a drawing of a dick. <laughs> turn to page 39, your mom, any of the above are possible. I'm going to say any of the above because it'd be like a secret like treasure hunt trail. These were so fun to do, um, but like also naughty. So I'm going to say any of them because you never know what he's going to say. Yep, correct. So the verdict is you got 12 out of 15 right. 100% you definitely went to school in Britain. Hooray! Yes! I so did. That was a fun quiz. I am going to link it down below. So if any of you want to take part, do the quiz, let me know out of 15 how many you got right because I really want to hear from you. And also, let me know if any of you remember Rosie and Jim, Topsy and Tim, or Through the Dragon's Eye. That was fun. Thanks for watching guys. Remember for more fun videos like this, all you need to do is hit that red subscribe button, click the bell, and you'll be notified each and every time I upload a video. And it's free. Like, what is not to love? Oh, also, don't forget, I have a second channel, Officially Vlogs, where I film daily vlog videos. Recently, I have been on my vlog game. I think last week I posted three new videos. So, if you like vlogs, if you want to see more behind the scenes into my life, be sure to head over and check out that channel as well. Thanks for watching, guys. And until next time, 